Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org with a video tutorial for the new Boston. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the jQuery tabs plugin or uh, jQuery tabs widget uh, found in the jQuery UI. Now, we've already included uh, all of our files, so ensure you have the uh, style sheet associated with the uh, chosen theme, uh, all available in the development bundle that's downloaded. Uh, most importantly, the jQuery UI.js file. And we also have our own custom external file, UI.js, which we haven't written anything in yet. We've also got style.css, which we're going to be styling the uh, tabs section with in just a moment. Now, the first thing to note is we want to go ahead, uh, go over to our browser and actually uh, create this uh, tab effect first. And then we'll go ahead and implement the tabs widget. So we'll just go ahead and open up our browser. Uh, you'll see that there's nothing there at the moment. Let's go ahead and start to create our tabs section. So I'm going to create a, a div which is going to surround everything. So this is the div that you're going to apply the tabs widget to. And I'm just going to call this tabs. Now inside for the tabs at the top, you're going to need an unordered list. So I'm going to choose UL, come down and end the UL. Inside here, we want the list options just uh, available to us or available to the user. Um, so the first one, uh, we need to create a link inside. So let's just change that to href. Uh, and this is just gonna be, for example, about me. Uh, and I'm gonna actually have to give this a name, which is gonna refer to the tab that you want to open or the content you want associated with this tab. So I'm just gonna call this about hyphen me. Uh, then we can go down and create the rest of our menu options. So again, we create a link just in here. And this time it's going to be hash portfolio. And then in here, just write portfolio. So this is the label. Uh, and I'm going to do a third one as well, just so we get a good idea of how this is working. So again, a link in between here with the name. So I'm just going to say contact. And in here, just contact. So at the moment, this looks a bit like, uh, let's have a look. Uh, there we go. So this looks a bit like this. So it's not really doing anything yet. We haven't applied tabs to it. Now let's go ahead and create the div sections that we require to open when we click these different links. So we're going to create divs in between here and the ID of these need to correspond to the links that you've given them. So for example, the first div is going to be, uh, let's just put some paragraph tags in there. Um, a short paragraph about me. Now this now needs to correspond to hash about me, or sorry, it just needs to correspond to about me. And that way jQuery will pick up that when we click on this about me tab, uh, the corresponding div will be shown. So we do this for each one of the tabs that we create. Uh, again, put in the ID in here of portfolio. And in, in here we can put the content. So for example, this is my port folio. Uh, and the last one, uh, we're just essentially recreating what we've already done. So contact, some paragraph tags just in there, and my contact details. So now uh, let's just open our browser. It looks a bit like this. We've got each link here and each paragraph that represent the tab that we're going to click. At the moment, it does nothing. So, assuming that we've included everything correctly, we can go over to ui.js and actually apply tabs to this. So remember, we called our uh, div here, our main div, our container div for, the, for uh, everything here. Uh, we call it tabs, so we select this, and then we just apply the tabs uh, widget to that. Now when we open up our browser and refresh, you can see that tabs have been created uh, and they correspond to each uh, paragraph we created as well. So extremely easy to implement in this sense. Okay, so now what we want to do is take a look at uh, changing the width of this. Um, I'm also going to change the overall font size on the page uh, so this looks a bit nicer. So the first thing I'm going to do is set the body font size to 12 pixels. And then I'm going to come down and I'm going to change the size of our overall div. So I'm going to, uh, again, reference, let's go back to here, tabs, so reference tabs. And I'm going to set the width to 400, 400 pixels. And then when we refresh, the text is a bit smaller and we have a nice small area uh, for our tabs and our content. 
So that's how we would go ahead and actually style everything up. Now I'm going to tell you about including uh, external files within this href. So we're calling an Ajax request. Now if we were to go ahead and create another menu item, uh, we do exactly the same. Uh, we create a link here. And I'm going to call this one loop. And in here, instead of specifying a tab to go to, I'm actually going to specify a file that I want to be loaded into the content area. So when I click this loop tab that will appear here when I refresh in a moment, I want the contents of here to be loaded from an external file. So we can specify this and I'm going to specify loop.php which we haven't yet created uh, which will be found in the PHP folder. So at the moment I'm going to refresh, click on loop and nothing appears. That's because this loop file could not, could not be loaded. We haven't actually created it yet. So once we have created it, it, the contents will appear. Now we can set Ajax options within our uh, tabs here. So remember the options go in our curly brackets. We can set Ajax options to check if this file uh, is available. For example, we might return an error uh, trying to find this file.